Today we're going to talk about what we can expect for the future of Outriders and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about what we can expect for the future of Outriders and let me start this off by saying that this video is pure speculation. And if you guys want to see more Outriders content in the form of class builds, legendary farming, official and fan made lore, news updates and more, be sure to subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any video. Today we actually have a patch coming out so if I say anything in this video that is part of that patch, like if something were to be changed or fixed, just know that this script was actually made before the patch was actually released. Later on in the video, I'll tell you guys how to go ahead and enter our special monthly Mata Lobby giveaway, so stay tuned. Okay, so within the last two weeks, Outriders has seen a significant decrease in the player base to where only like a few thousand out of the entire world are still playing. A few thousand. That really isn't much, especially since the game actually hit 3.5 million players around the entire world in the game's first week of launch. Modded Lobbies is what seems to be holding a huge portion of the community together that is still playing. Which is why I assume that People Can Fly, who are the developers, hasn't given out any watermarks to people as of yet. If there aren't significant changes or an expansion soon, I feel that nobody will be playing Outriders. And I'm sorry to say, but that may end up happening since there has been no recent news about an expansion. So far, PCF has only been working on things like fixing bugs and that's great, but when they fix one thing, something else breaks and it only gets frustrating at times. However, two months ago, the devs had mentioned that they are, quote, looking forward to expanding Outriders in the future, end quote. I have a video that talks all about this and you can check it out in the card at the top right of the screen right now if you would like or at the end of this video. As of this moment, they could be working on that very expansion and keeping everything on the hush hush until it gets a little bit better developed and that is what we are going to talk about today. A lot of changes in this expansion need to definitely happen in order to bring the player base back to where it needs to be in order to make Outriders relevant once again in the gaming world. Let me apologize ahead of time because I am going to throw a lot of what if scenarios at you guys. So let's go ahead and start with what a new story would look like in an expansion. However, before we get to that, if you actually go to Chana and take a look at the Outriders map, we only really see two different kinds of terrain. A forest area which has been mainly cleared out and an open desert area. Remember. We landed on Enoch, which is a huge planet. Out of this huge planet, we only been in these two areas. We have an entire rest of the world that needs to be explored. There is a north, south, and west of Rift Town. We already went east, but then there are a north, south, and east of the Caravel as well, which is in the desert. What I'm trying to get at is that this is not the entire planet and there is so much more exploration that needs to be done. What if there were like six or seven more different types of terrains that the anomaly had a different kind of effect on? Something like icy mountains, valleys, swamps, steeps, marshlands, etc. What if Enoch has oceans that we haven't seen yet It would need to cross to get to those other terrains? While inside of all of these terrains, they had different types of animals, plant life, packs that had a different dialect, or some packs that actually became altered or even more developed with powers like telekinesis. What if there was a secret scout ship with a colony of people that started it all before the caravel in the Flores even knew about Enoch? The scientists on that ship could have sent all of the information back to Earth and that is how we decided that Enoch was the planet to go to in order to start over. With all of this speculation and much more comes new map exploration areas, new missions, new bad guys, new world tiers, but also new historian, hunter, and wanted mission side quests. 
Theoretically, let's say that the devs give us two new terrains per expansion in order to deal with the new threats and the new terrains, we actually get an update to our current class where all our damage gets boosted by wearing an artifact that Zahidi makes. But in order for him to make it, we need to go on several missions in order to find the tech. With new areas to explore comes new enemies, new allies, new weapons and armor with new bonuses. Maybe we could even get a new weapon type like a railgun. I don't know. It sounds amazing. It could happen. In a new expansion, the devs definitely need to update the character customization for males and females with new facial features, haircuts, hair color like having an actual black, tattoos, piercings, and more. But not just our character's looks. We need new truck customizations, banners, and emotes as well. We definitely need an updated class tree for each of the classes. The ones that we have now are great, but it seems like there is a terrible balance in damage for each class and it seems like almost everyone is playing the same build. I said almost everyone, not everyone. But what if the devs could introduce a new class and keep it with the theme that all the classes end with an R called Illuminator, where this class is all about lightning and could have an armor set called Kieran of the Storm. This armor set would have a three piece bonus that increases all damage by 75% for five seconds when you deal damage with lightning. What this does is that it opens the possibility for different weapon and anomaly type builds when we use mods like Ultimate Storm Whip, which does lightning damage, or your skills that do lightning damage as well. Speaking of the skills, adding two more skills to make a total of 10 skills per class would be a great addition to the game. This new class and everything that I just mentioned is a really good concept, and I actually might make a video specifically on this class alone, going over the entire class, including what the class looks like, the skills, and the class tree. However, that video may take a while to make because I will be making the entire class from scratch. Now, let's go over a few things that would be nice to see in the game before or when the expansion would drop. First off, we will start with Tiago, and I am sure many of you will know what I am about to say. His inventory is shit, and has been since we got access to him. Tiago's inventory really, definitely, 100% needs to rotate to different weapons and armor for your class. And yes, for your class is important. We don't need a pyromancer and seeing Tiago rotate armor for a devastator. But it doesn't just stop at Tiago. The devs also need to increase the stash capacity. 100 slots are not enough. If you put one full armor set like the Akari gear on your Pyromancer, as well as put a full armor set on all of the other classes, and then take all of the other armor and put it in your inventory and just have one, including all of the weapons, there is still not enough room. So with that said, maybe 300 slots is enough, but not 100. Destiny 2 had this very same issue with the vault when it was released. With a new expansion also comes new end game content. At the moment, we currently have 13 expeditions and Eye of the Storm, which makes 14. So I feel that we need six, yes, six new expeditions, but also increasing expedition challenge tiers is a must. But increasing the challenge tiers to 20 won't be enough. I feel that increasing the challenge tiers to challenge tier 25 would be a good sweet spot until the next expansion. With these new expeditions and increase to the challenge tiers, we can be introduced to character level 50 and gear level 70. This new gear should be tested out in new game modes like time trials, survival mode, or even a domination mode. While yes, we do have a timer that tracks your fastest expedition runs, it's not really a time trials mode because you don't get anything special for beating your time. As for the survival mode, it could be completely random where you fight the indigenous life on Enoch, the Pax, or other humans. And when it comes to the domination mode, the points that we would have to capture are drop pods, and we would fight for the loot inside them. After we capture and win a pod, 
it opens and we can collect the loot by pressing the down arrow before moving on to the next pot. I mean, any type of PvP would be nice in this game as well. If you guys want me to go a little more in depth on these modes, or if you had any type of PvP modes that you think could work in Outriders, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll go ahead and make a video on it. I don't know. There is so many different directions that people can fly and Square Enix can take Outriders. This game has a crazy amount of untouched and untapped potential, but all of that means nothing if the devs don't do anything with it. It's just a shame that more wasn't done in order to make this game the best that it could be. We can hope, we can dream, and then there's also the possibility of being let down as well. I really do hope, no, I pray that PCF does something with this game that would give it justice. So, as I stated earlier on in the video, I will be hosting a special modded lobbies giveaway every month for seven random people. These lobbies consist of one full hour for each person in a modded lobby with whatever mods that individual wants. This giveaway is completely free and only requires two minutes of your time. In order to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on notifications, follow me on social media, and join the Everything Outriders Discord. A Gleam link to everything will be in the description box below. The winners will be announced in the Discord server at the beginning of every month in the giveaway sub-channel. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Need a place to play Outriders? Come join the Everything Outriders Discord. All platforms are welcome. You can make new friends. We host free carries for every expedition and Eye of the Storm. Get detailed information such as data mines, patch notes, lore. And we host free, yes, free modded lobbies with high restrictions as well. We have over 1,600 members and it is growing every single day. So come and join us. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.